channel and welcome back to another video. So I'm wearing makeup, which for me is quite an accomplishment. If you watch my weekly vlogs that I post, you know that I don't always wear makeup and for the last two weeks, honestly, I really haven't been wearing makeup. But I figured I wanted to feel a little bit more human today, so I put makeup on. But I have a few products that I really want to try. So I did everything else except these three products that I want to try and we're going to do a first impression on them. The three products that I'm going to be trying, uh, the first one is this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. It's a pretty standard blush. It's a sample size also. I got this as my Sephora birthday, like my free birthday gift because I'm a beauty insider. So which anybody can be a beauty insider. So I'm interested to see how I like this one compared to my normal Essence Mosaic blush, see which one I like better, and see how this one performs. I finally got my hands on the Wet n Wild Illuminating Highlighting Powder, or whatever it's called, in the shade Precious Petals, and I've been looking for this highlight for months. But that's what that looks like. It's a really nice gold highlight. I know it's not incredibly in focus, but I'm really excited to try this out. And the last product is also another Wet n Wild product. It's going to be the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Lipstick in the shade Video Vixen. It's a very nice dark berry shade. Again, you can't really see, but you can get an idea of the color. And I'm really excited to try this. I tried it on when I got it, but I didn't have like a full face of makeup. And I really kind of want to see what it's going to look like with a full face. So this is going to be a video packed full of first impressions. But first, before you leave this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Let you know when I post new videos and all that fun stuff. I post videos two times a week, weekly vlogs on Mondays, or probably Tuesday depending on how my week is going and I post main videos on Fridays like this one. So without further ado let's get on to the first impressions. So the first product that I'm gonna put on is this Tarte blush. Um, typically when I'm going through my makeup I will put bronzer then blush then highlight. I've done everything else up to this point so we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the next step which is gonna be blush. And for my brush yes it's got a little bit of blush on it still, but we'll go ahead and use the other side. And this is a Real Techniques uh, 300 brush. It's a blush brush, so we're just going to go ahead and go in with it. Ooh, already the pigment is like, that is, I used the other side that doesn't really have a lot of uh, pigment on it from my other blush. This is from that blush. So I'm a little nervous actually. And I'm going to be looking down at my mirror. I can't use the viewfinder, I'm sorry. I'm going to tap this just in case. Ooh, I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's do it. So it's definitely, um, with my lighting and everything, it definitely doesn't look half bad. I know it probably looks a little washed out on your end because the lighting is really not good. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. When I wear blush, I just wear it to give that like little bit of warmth. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely product wise, I think that the pigmentation is really good. I mean, you saw I swiped my brush once and I had a ton of pigment on there. The pigmentation wise, it's really nice. The color is really nice. I think it's a very nice flattering color. But let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And then next I'm going to be trying this, which I'm really excited, but I'm also nervous. Like I really hope that this like is not a letdown because I've really been like wanting this for the longest time. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. And I'm going to be going in with my faithful Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighting brush. So let's let's do it. I'm so excited, guys. Whew. Ooh, wow. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's the pigment on it. So pigmented for sure. Okay, okay, so you can definitely see the highlighting effect on here. Ooh, okay, I think I like that. Well, I like it. I know you guys probably can't see the highlight too well, just because I don't really have like great lighting. And I apologize for that, but <laughs> I'm on a budget here. Whew. 
I really like it guys. I really really like it. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see the highlight. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But I really really like it. And that's what matters. A little bit more because I like to glow. I can definitely see the highlight which is great because when I put makeup on and I put highlight on I like to glow. I don't like to mess around so this definitely does that and I'm sure it'll look even better in like actual like legit lighting. So beautiful like you can probably see it better on my nose ironically enough but you can just see that shine and it's like oh there we go see you can see it now oh yes there we go. So you see that shine, like that shine is unreal. And I know to some people, you're like, oh my gosh, yours does shine. And I'm like, I know, and I want to be. If you don't like, I mean, you can still even use this. Like, if you don't like high shine, you just have to be a little bit more sparing about it. But I like to, sh I like to glow, so. <sighs> Definitely thumbs up. And last but certainly not least is this liquid lipstick. This is totally up my alley. I did a more natural eye look today, so that way I could wear a dramatic lip. And we're gonna go ahead and go for it. So the doe foot applicator, it's pretty much like what most doe foot applicators are like nowadays. But you can see it kind of looks like a little chair, which it's supposed to like go inside your lip. So that's pretty standard. It comes up with like a lot of product. First impressions of this lipstick. I like the color. The color is really totally like me and totally awesome. First impressions, application wasn't hor like it was pretty good application. It's very pigmented. Going on application, it was a little streaky, which is oh, I can't listen to me sounding like I know everything about makeup. But from the videos that I've watched and first impressions and swatches of different liquid lipsticks. Um, typically darker colors, especially like purples, are very difficult to formulate. So like f it, it was a little streaky and I had to go back. Okay, so it's pretty well dried now, which it dries down pretty quickly and it dries down pretty matte. So that is definitely a plus. I will say that now that it's dry, um, it still has a little bit of streakiness like right on the top part. So it's a little streaky, but it was like $5. So I'm really not gonna complain too much. I really like the color, but that is gonna be it for first impressions. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the products. If you guys have any other products that you want me to try out, do first impressions. I really enjoy doing first impressions. And finances permitting, I will do what I can to, you know, try some stuff out for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, like I said, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about the products that I have on. And if you don't know that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Let you know when I post new videos, post videos two times a week. You know the drill. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!